Now, Sangwani, talk to me, talk to us about uh, the political playing field. To what extent is the political playing field leveled? Well, I can say that has been leveled uh, to the meaning of the letter itself. Uh, we are experiencing a new dynamic in the, the political landscape. Uh, the commission opened up for campaign for all the candidates to contest. Uh, none of the candidates ha has come forward to complain of being uh, brutalized, uh, being abused. Uh, they have been free to hold their rallies. They have been free, free to hold uh, whistle-stop tours. Uh, we should commend the staff that have been uh, involved in uh, allocating venue. They have been really professional. They have not shown any sides. They have stood above political pressure to ensure that the political landscape is well leveled. Uh, looking at the side of the Malawi Electoral Commission, our commission is very independent a political uh, stakeholders have attested to this. We don't have any political side and the what we have been doing, you know, what we have been planning, it have been the decisions of the commissions prevailing in anything. I'm afraid uh, that uh, we seem to have lost uh, the line in Malawi. Are you there, Sangwani? Yes, I'm here. Oh, I see. Um, what about uh, the issue yeah. of fake news, um, especially via uh, Facebook and WhatsApp? Well, this is an issue that we can now tell me to be a global problem. Everyone is complaining about fake news. As Malawi Electoral Commission, we have not been spared. Uh, there have been issues that have been coming about, about papers marked, if, uh, marked about papers being found anywhere, uh, somebody releasing the numbers of uh, candidates who are allowed to contest when we had not released that, and so many issues uh, attacking the personalities within the Malawi Commission. What we have done on our part is to ensure that we've got an effective uh, communication strategy, uh, strengthen the communications and building of trust with our stakeholders so that when they hear of such things, uh, they don't just believe or act on them unless they cross-check with us. Sangwani, uh, final question. There have been some uh, rumors and some might say allegations that uh, the Malawi Electoral Commission is uh, in the business of uh, about to rig an election by using a sort of creative accounting. Are you in a position, for example, to talk to us from the deepest, better part of the bottom of your Malawian heart and soul, that the results of this election will reflect the will of the people, the will of the voters, and not the will of those officials who will be counting the vote. Well, thank you. I'm hearing that from you, but I can still tackle that one because uh, what I can explain to you, our polling system and our result management uh, contamination has not changed uh, from the polling station. When we go for voting uh, on Tuesday, all the votes cast will not be moved from the place where voting took place unless they have been counted. And after counting, each and every monitor of a candidate or political party will get a copy of those results, and they have to sign that they agree with those results. When the results are taken to the constituency tally center, uh, there will be monitors for political parties and candidates. They will also have to uh, be given those results, and uh, whatever we have at the constituency tally center will be audited. That is, if we receive the results, the auditors have to vet, yes, this is really true, what has come from the centers. And then we transmit that to the main tally center in Blantyre. Even at the main tally center, there will be auditors and there will also be monitors of the political parties. So whatever we get at the main tally center, we'll be giving out to all the stakeholders. If they see any anomaly, 
they will be free to query us. And in this process, I don't think there is anywhere uh, that somebody can claim to say we can give a room for creative uh, arithmetic for somebody to manipulate the results. But we may not be that much surprised with these statements because we are in the elections period and everybody thinks they can throw in on the agenda whatever they're imagining could be an issue that can happen. But believe you me, those that have been close to the process, they will even testify for us that the commission has been more than transparent and has put in place measures to ensure that we have a credible election uh, that we have never had before in Malawi and that would be an even an envy to the own countries in Africa and maybe even beyond Africa.